Last week, Duchess of York Sarah Ferguson visited the Big Apple and showed off her 14-pound weight loss. Hopefully, this will not interfere with her official duties of sitting on her fat ass all day long. <laughs> Former Wilson Phillips member Carney Wilson's new talk show kicked off this month. According to Carney, her show will be different from the others in that guests will be treated with respect and dignity. And then she will eat them. <laughs> new medical research shows that men and women have different food cravings. Men preferring meat and women preferring sweets. Scientists trace this back to caveman days, when men had to go out and hunt for food while women sat on their fat asses eating chocolates. <laughs> the sister of San Francisco giant catcher Buster Posey, Samantha, hit for a home run cycle, which consists of a solo, a two-run, a three-run homer, and a grand slam home run. This leads some to say that she might be better than her brother. Her brother, who doesn't get to hit against girls tossing a giant ball underhand. <laughs> Senator Bob Packwood said this week he favors reduced federal deficit over a tax cut. Then he added that in case anyone was curious, he prefers nice legs over large breasts. <laughs> and the number one book is The Rule. You know about this book? I've heard stuff about yeah. it. Tell us about it. It's the rules. It's, it's how to capture a man's heart. And mm -hmm. it, it, it's for women. And it says all these rules that you have to follow and you will capture a man's heart. And the rule number one, have huge breasts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy likes it. Incidentally, Ms. Maston will be represented in her civil suit by feminist attorney Gloria Allred, who is also quite unattractive. No box of chocolates, that one. <laughs> Washington power to some Mary Madeline and James Carville are expecting their first baby in July. No one knows if the baby will be a Democrat or a Republican, but doctors are sure of one thing. It will be weird looking. <laughs> Pop singer Madonna was outraged this week when a tabloid photographer snapped her picture while she was breastfeeding her new baby. Apparently, the baby was blocking her nipple. <laughs> so I say, listen, uh, 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 Jamie, uh, that's amazing, like you're pregnant. It's cool how they shoot around that on the show. Uh, you don't look pregnant. She says, I'm pregnant on the show. <laughs> <laughs> so then, then I say, I know. <laughs> Connecticut legislatures are about to pass a law that would make it illegal to prohibit breastfeeding in public. Then, hopefully, these legislatures will also change the fascist law that the person being breastfed in public has to be a baby. <laughs> a new book claims that Madonna once smeared peanut butter all over John F. Kennedy Jr.'s body and then licked it off. Which just goes to show you, Madonna's a whore. <laughs> After closing out a successful first season, the WNBA is considering several changes to improve the level of play in the league next year. Among the proposals, extending the playoffs, increasing salaries, bringing back the three-point line, and replacing all the female players with guys. <laughs> Finally, in, Miss, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, a man allowed his eight-year-old daughter to take the wheel of his car and an accident ensued that damaged seven other cars and injured six people. Which once again proves my theory, women can't drive. There's this movie coming out. Yes. Title undetermined at this point. Chairman of the board. Oh, all right. Do something with that, you freak. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bet the board is spelled B-O-R-E-D. <laughs>
that's better. Better than what? That's that's objectifying her. Yes, I'm saying I think we do that as men. Okay. We objectify women, don't we? Yeah. What? Well, don't we? Well, Jocelyn Elder's new book, Jocelyn Elder's M.D., came out this week. I read it. <laughs> they are developing a pill which can give women orgasms without having sex. <laughs> read all about this revolutionary discovery in my new book, The World's Most Dangerous Drug. <laughs> Well, Premier Magazine's list of the 100 most powerful people in Hollywood hit the newsstands this month. In an odd bit of ranking, Demi Moore was ranked number 28, while her breasts were ranked 20 and 21. So, <laughs> newlyweds Tommy Lee and Pamela Anderson had their first argument this week. He wants kids, while she wants fake kids. Washington Redskins lineman Albert Hainsworth was arrested on sexual abuse charges this past week after being accused of sliding a credit card through a woman's cleavage. Is it just me? Or is everyone stealing my moves? Demi Moore says she would like to have another baby, this time a boy, to go along with her three daughters and two huge breasts. At a veterans hospital in the Bronx yesterday, four Playboy Playmates were on hand to wish the residents a happy Valentine's Day. One veteran who was there called it an afternoon of, quote, hellish, agonizing sexual frustration. <laughs> safer drivers, men or women? Well, according to a new survey, 55% of adults feel that women are most responsible for minor fender benders, while 78% blame men for most fatal crashes. Please note that the percentages in these pie graphs do not add up to 100% because the math was done by a woman. So. For those of you hissing at that joke, it should be uh, noted that that joke was written by a woman. So, now you don't know what the hell to do, do you? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We don't hire women. Tell <laughs> Demi Moore is rap filming on G.I. Jane, in which she plays a Navy, Navy SEAL combat officer. Moore says that in contrast to other Hollywood portrayals of women in the military, her character will have giant breasts. <laughs> and finally, Weekend Update would like to congratulate Madonna, who gave birth to a beautiful baby girl last Monday. The baby weighed in at six pounds, nine ounces, making it the fourth largest object ever to pass through Madonna's birth canal. <laughs> Hollywood prostitute Divine Brown has written a book describing in lurid detail exactly what she did with Hugh Grant. The book sells for $25, but for $35, she'll show you. <laughs> and in entertainment news, Ellen DeGeneres and lover Anne Hesch have announced that they want to have a baby. However, their plan has hit a snag. They are both women. <laughs> It is not possible to have a child. Start out by searching a uh, woman gagging. <laughs> oh. oh, one million results. How about that? Okay, let's see. Oh, well, my lord. Oh, that's not what I was looking for. This is filthy. Okay, I can see I'm going to have to be a little more specific. Let me try woman gagging on meat. <laughs> Well, there's seven million results here. Whoa, holy Lord! There's all kinds of pictures coming up. None of these are right. Oh, people should not be doing this. 
what, how do I turn this thing off? Delete history. Delete history. Wait, they're offering me a 3% mortgage. <laughs> okay, I deleted it. So that's off my computer forever? Empty the cachet. Empty the what?